finally entering conference play, fellas. Duncan and Alaska prepare for their Pac-12 opener against Washington State. Now, it's kind of hard to gauge how good teams are seven or eight years in the future, whatever we are. Kirko is going to be rocking with us. They are just awful. C plus, C and B minus. Now, there is some cool things to check out in recruiting. I did, in fact, remove two people. That is because we are in week four. Four right now I want to say and as you know the low lock percentage cheese does come into play around now we're leading for all these guys so our class should be of course around our average which is top 10 and then when you head down to the bottom I found five people Mike Glover, Richard Phillips, Victor Garrett, Craig Carter and Cole Stovall Ultimately, after scouting all of them, my Glover is the definite person we want to go for. 6'3", four-star athlete. We got a 310 bonus, 80 overall. He is, in fact, 9 overall gem. That is right. He was a 71, went up to 80. He's got a great play rec, man, zone. He can play quarterback. He can play running back to some extent. So he is the new man to watch out for. 6'3", four-star athlete, 80 overall, my Glover. Let's get a look at the top 25. Last week was, in fact, a bye week, so things might have changed around. We are chilling in 7th. We've got North Carolina who, they beat Bull State, like, and they're 1-0, and, oh, and somehow they're six in the nation, like, all right. Ohio State in first, Penn State in second, Auburn, USC, who we take on later this season. They've already lost a game. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This might, in fact, very well be the last season of Alaska. We do have the Oakleaf Pit Bulls, which I was thinking could be our new Alaska dynasty. That being said, fellas, enough wasting time. Their offense is 75. Hopefully, you guys are hyped. So without further ado, let's jump into it. We need to look out for their middle linebacker, strong safety cornerback. They look like a bunch of freshmen and sophomores. Pac-12 opener. I expect to go undefeated in the Pac-12. Obviously, USC might give us some trouble, but we'll worry about that when we get there. Jimmo starting it out. All right, I'll take that. Taking Jimmo again. Breaking tackles like a boss. Jimmo is already nearly on fire. That's crazy. He's... Oh, what? Oh, dude, he tipped it. That scared the crap out of me. Oh, just take Jim again. I mean, really, Jim? I don't know who Quinn is. He's gonna take off. Come on, it's a quarterback. Bring him down, boys. Oh, it's a screenplay. I didn't even see that. Come on, Harrison. Nice. Let's jump on Harrison. They call a screenplay again. It's a GG. Pick that. You doofuses. You ran into each other run play oh my goodness the blocking is just immaculate ain't it green play come on nope ah oh, who else for chris davis to get burned on the slant right all right i'm gonna be guarding the running back here no i'm not we're just gonna sack him let's go adam brady we've got all these new people coming out who who is bell who is bell i don't want bell i want my guy run play oh my come on kurt hayes you need you need Harrison to clean up. Run play. Come on. As if nobody could. Man, that's pathetic. All right, you've, you've just unlocked the five foot four beast. Let's go. I need X to cut back. Cut back. Here we go. Xavier Simon into open space. That's the type of plays we're looking for. Oh, Jimmo, mate. Man coverage. Let's go, Pierre. Come on. Come on, my guy. <laughs> Let's flip this out to the left, man. I need some blocks. I need them now. Get the blocks. Come on, we should have blocks. Sebastian. Cheese. Ooh, jeez. Okay. Best believe I'm getting out the pocket. Oh, come on, man. I should have bullet bastard. I know. Bit of a slow start, man. I don't know what it is about the average teams in the game that our team doesn't like to perform against. Against Texas, we were locking people down. See, look at that, mate. You call the blitz, he's not getting anywhere. Oh, we're going to get a chance to return this. Come on. Out speed. That's not a bad return. I'll take that. Dropping the safety so low. Over the top. That's an E. I'm not doing it. I'm not putting conservative catch on. Not with Alaska. We're too good for conservative catch. The X over the top. Don't drop that. Thank you, Foster. The defensive play calls they have are perfect. Like, look at this. Oh. Go, Jimmo. Ooh. But Let's take that underneath. <laughs> I went for no yards. But that was at least like two. Give me two. Oh, man. Third and ten. 
Let's go, Foster. Oh, he's in the end zone. That's all we should be doing every passing play is running over people. Test me, user. Come on. I'm waiting for it. It's Ronnie Lott looking tight end. Give it to him. Let's go. Let's go, Harrison. Can you get out of my way, Adam Brady? Don't test Anthony Harrison. Uh-oh. The storm's coming, boys. Storm's coming. Let's go, Xavier. Nice play. We got X. We got square. What the hell? How did I not see square? Oh! My own player clotheslined me! No! Oh, this is even worse. Alright, whatever. Just go to you. Go to you. Come on, Macklin. Oh! Straight around the cornerback, making him look like a goose. I'm telling you, Chad Macklin is a fullback, but he makes plays when he needs to. Halftime score is going to be Alaska up 17-7. to It's been a really, really shaky start for this team. They shouldn't even be in it. Oh, nice screenplay. Oh, he was going to throw it to the running back too before he got sacked. He didn't want to throw that. Oh my goodness. What's going on today? I'm starting to worry about the team. I'm thinking we might need to bring in the medical staff, an optometrist especially. In fact, you know what? We should just get rid of the team doctor and we'll hire an optometrist. I think that's the best way to go. All right, boys. They're calling a really crappy defense here. Let's go, Jim. Don't. You, you've got to be shitting me, dude. All right, that's it. Bring in the optometrist. No, it's not your fault, man. That's a yikes from me. He's going to take off. Going to get sacked. I feel like jumping on the tight end, but I'm going to go on the running back. It is a screen play. I get stuck on the blocks. Corey Webb, the freshman defensive tackle. Did you see the speed he just showed? They're really pressing Mario Hill here. Showing no respect to the wide receiving core. Waiting for... Waiting for this guy. Jones! Oh, I had to get fancy on him real quick. Jake Jones, the freshman running back. Oh, all right, Clifford. No worries, mate. Come on, Harrison. Don't get... There we go. There we go. Nice. I don't know what Anthony Harrison is going to make of himself as a player, but he definitely will lead the NCAA in injured players. Like, he's just injured the running back. If the quarterback takes it, probably going to injure him too. <laughs> Oh, wow. Somebody pick it up, please. Don't... Oh, thank goodness. That was probably the most easy touchdown I've ever seen in my life. Anthony Harrison hit this guy so hard, the ball flew like 20 yards. We complimented Harrison on his toughness. The next play, he forces a fumble. Uh, run up squared. Do something. All right. That was a bit risky, but it's all good. Put this out to the right here. Got some blocks. Jimmo's out speeding. He's a speed demon. Up the... Ooh. Fake fullback run to Chad Macklin. We're going to cut this out. Nah, they were all over that. Spin move. Nah, that's not going to get it done. Oh, man. The freshman wide receiver making it look easy out there. I don't know. I kind of want to send Jake Jones up right here. Oh, crap. The blitz is coming. Jake Jones did get free as well. I'm taking that. What a throw to Mario Hill. He's still going. We can get away with anything against Washington State. Well, the seven year down the track, Washington State. Oh, I wanted to throw that. I'm backing out like a coward. Let's see what we can get going here. They're running some kind of weird blitz. Run up triangle. There we go. Take that. Johnson. But wow. Johnson again. He's in the end zone. Who is this guy? He just made two back-to-back -back plays right there. I don't even know my personnel. What is this? You've got to be kidding. Chris Davis, how are you not picked that off? Somebody write a storyline down below about an optometrist or something. No stat boost, though. That's the one thing I will say. No stat boost. All right, that was bad. To the right. Got some good blocks. Got some excellent blocks from Jake Jones downfield. Let's try a little bit of human centipede formation out. Surprised they haven't checked Jake Jones in yet. Ah, oh, I could have run that a lot better. We got people wide open. I'm just kind of toying with him at this point. Matt Thompson, the freshman. Give it to the fullback. Chad Macklin. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, he tried to tackle Jim. He really did. Oh, they've checked the backups in, man. Who is this? Who are these guys? Who is Evans? I don't even know who this guy is. 
<laughs> All right, it'll do, I guess. We've got the cheerleaders on right now. Cheerleaders are gonna demolish you. Give me that. Who is Evans? He's gonna take it back to the house, please. Oh, he freaking tackled. <laughs> There's no way that just happened. Bro, that was easy to read. Man coverage the whole way down. The quarterback just gets little buoyed out there. And that's how we're gonna end the game. Yeah, the Alaska fans are really happy after that one. And as if you wouldn't be. Checking out the stats on the day. Darren Duncan with a 194 passer rating. 318 yards, 5 touchdowns, 1 interception. Looked really shaky early on, but we turned that around pretty quickly. On the rushing end of things, Jimmo picking up 110 yards, 6.8 average and a touchdown. Darren Duncan, 41 yards and 8.2 average. On the receiving end, I mean, where do we even begin today? Jake Jones had one reception for 55 yards and a touchdown. Nate Foster, 52 yards and a touchdown. Brandon Johnson, who I believe is... The backup tight end, 45 yards and a touchdown. So he's going to be great once Nate Foster leaves this year. He'll be taking over. Mario Hill, 43 yards, doing his thing as always. Xavier Simon, a touchdown. Greg Pierre, 39. Gilliam, Matt Thompson had 16 yards. Chad Macklin had four yards and a touchdown. And on the defensive end, Anthony Harrison. Like, what, what can you say about this guy? He's only an 88 overall. He plays like a 99 or even an 100 overall. He had seven total tackles and interception for 24 yards. Two TFLs for Dustin Simmons and two sacks as well. Bo Wallace with two TFLs and a sack. Adam Brady TFL and a sack. It's this guy here, Stefan Evans. He's a sophomore, 75 overall. He just hands down made the biggest play of his career and that was probably the first time we've seen him on the field. Well, fellas, that was definitely our most dominant performance yet. We just went to town on him towards the end and it's going to be the same thing throughout the season when we take on these lesser teams. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, man. If you did make it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. I hope the rest of your day is awesome. From me personally, I'm out. Peace.